Hi everyone, my name is 910, and uh, this is a game that uh, I don't know too much about. It's called uh, The Town of Light. I saw a post about it this morning on V, and then I read some reviews. And the one that uh, caught my eye was a review that gave it 80 out of 100 on Metacritic, because, oh, everything's astounding, but it might be a little bit too disturbing for some. So that piqued my interest, and I immediately uh, got the game. So, now I'm gonna try showing it off for you guys, so I hope you enjoy. The Town of Light is based on real facts and places, as well as a long documentation concerning mental illness and the life of patients in lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure. It contains stories which may be disturbing, and we advise its use exclusively by a public of adults. The characters and names are imaginary, and any references to people who may have really existed is entirely casual. This game uses an, an artistic interpretation of a former Italian psychiatric institution for dramatic purposes. Please note that mental health services have radically improved. If you think you may have psychological problems, please refer to a specialist. Press any key to, to continue. Alright, up oh, 90%, so we're still loading. Volterra, 1942. What's happened? What kind of place is this? Maybe I'm dead. I can't see any light. I might be dead. I can't get up. What's going on here? What's happening to me? There's no one here, yet... These noises... God, my head is killing me! I can't keep my eyes open. Reality fades away and my skin is gone. Every breath of wind is excruciatingly painful. Please wait. Volterra, Tuscany, 2016. Oh, so this is modern day now. Alright. Everything looks pretty nice. Frame rates, not great, but I not fit that in a bit. Play to open slash close slash use. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to see if I can improve some stuff real quick. Alright, well, we're just going to deal with it for now. So, uh, let's keep going. Looks like we can't go that way, so. Check out what's in this house. Alright, everything's pretty quiet. F to turn on, off, flashlight. I hope this isn't one of those things where I have to manage your flashlight power, because that always scares the hell out of me when I have to go through a dark place without a flashlight. I know I could have a flashlight. If that makes any sense. Alright, so there's bottles all over the place. It's in the fridge. More bottles. And. Huh, what is this? Game Connection European Games Booster. Excellence in story and storytelling. Okay. Interesting. So that's all that's in here. What about this radio? It's a two-way speaker. Not really anything else interesting, so. Okay, and another trophy for excellence in game storytelling, a game that we have not seen any story yet, so interesting. Is that everything that's in here? Okay. That must be somewhere else we can go then. Unless I'm already missing something that's incredibly obvious. Mm -hmm. We got a playground. Oh, we can play in the playground. How nice. Need some oil. We. Okay, that's enough. Okay, I want it off. Help, how do I get off? 
I wanted it off Mr. Bones' wild ride. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the first legitimately scary moment. Oh, can we play on the seesaw? I'm playing the seesaw. Yeah, here we go. Yay. All right. I want to take a ride on the slide. Oh, it's actually going to let me do it. Cool. Exhilarating. I'm pretty sure I have tetanus by this point, so why not keep going? I want to go all the way around the top of the swing set. Let's do this. All right, well, that was fun. We can't build a sand castle, apparently, so. Oh, well. Uh, let's see, where can we go? Is there a run? Probably not. Shift doesn't do anything. Oh, this opens. I assumed that wouldn't open because of the whole do not enter thing, but okay. LKA presents The Town of Lights. I like the music. I was about to comment on how quiet everything was. I'm glad this music's here. Lots of birds. What was that? There was a like rusty gate opening somewhere. This place. J to access the synopsy menu. Okay, so let's look at our experience. Volterra, 1942. What's happened? What kind of place is this? Oh, this is the thing that we have we experienced at the beginning, so that so it's aptly named, I guess. Alright, let's look at our memories. We have no memories. And we have no medical records, so I'm guessing this will fill out as we continue onwards. I'm not sure what all this stuff at the bottom is. I guess we'll find out. Hmm. Alright, we've got a door here into the Shaco. I'm just saying it's how it's pronounced. Oh, and we can actually go inside. I was expecting this to be locked. Before we go into the creepy dark building, let's uh let's see what's around oh more doors. Okay. So uh yeah this area's fenced off over here. We can look down until it's what looks like a greenhouse down here. Or a bunch of greenhouses that are all old and overgrown. So now they're really greenhouses. Interesting, okay. Well, I put this off long enough. Let's uh, go check out the Charco. And immediate spooky ambient music, awesome. Well, let's say I don't have to worry about flashlight management, which is good. All right, so we got some paintings. Okay. Non sputa in terra e non bestemia. Fascist National Federation for the fight against tubercul tuberculosis. The civilized person doesn't spit on the ground and doesn't swear God. Central Anti-Blasphemy Committee under the honorary chairmanship of S.M. the King. So we're dealing with Nazis now? I, I probably should have guessed from the whole 1942 thing, but... 
Still, this is dang interesting. There is no power, great. So here we have a map. I, I hope I don't have to remember this because I'm awful with directions. So let's see, where should we be looking for? Well, that early thing about the powers is something about a woman's room. But I don't see any women's room art. Like what it say specifically? The calm woman ward. Oh, yeah, and that's that's something. All right. This is the admissions, which is appropriate. Got a note here: inventory of patients, personal fets, and moments of admission. It's, Pretty much too faded and too French for us to read. And some scissors. We can't take these. I'm guessing stab whatever's gonna jump out at us. Alright. Lovely. What the hell? That's strange. What's in here? Yeah, this is the darkest, dentiest stuff. We got a bunch of uh, books and stuff, probably records of admissions. So nothing too interesting. Yeah. Still no power. The only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte, my doll. What's this say? Uh, upper floor, clinics, x-ray department, surgery, gynecology, patient archives, medical archives. Is that how you spell gynecology or is that like an archaic way? Or is that British? I don't know. Is there a difference? Is this? It's like hmm. strange. These are what bathrooms. Okay, so this is probably the female bathroom. Or right now, this leads out. Looks like, but it's locked. So gotta remember to come back here once we find a key. No, no, she's freezing. She's alone. Let's look for her. Okay. So we can't go into Ward 1 just quite yet because she is freezing and alone. I'm assuming she is the doll that she mentioned earlier. Hmm, what's this? There's no power, so... Oh, it's a projector, I think. So this must be like a viewing room. It's another entrance. What's in here? Stairway. A very stuttery stairway. And this is that other entrance, but it's locked. So it's this. Come on. Alright, so we turn something on. And here's another one of those paintings on the back end of the panel. It is not forbidden. Let's find Charlotte. What? It is not forbidden. Okay, so... Can we go down here at all? There's no jump, so I can't jump over this stuff. I've probably just missed something already. So we're looking for a doll named Charlotte. Oh, we can open these drawers. What's in here? Nothing. And we can't open that drawer because there's a chair in the way and we just can't be moving chairs around. What was that? Okay. It sounded like a wave hitting the ocean. Oh, we can go up here. So let's try that out. Hmm. 
Let's search the wards on the first floor. There's a plan on the wall which shows where the various wards are located. Okay, so the game's decided I'm too dumb to figure this out. But... Alright, so the first... Well, here's that problem again. It's the first floor. This floor is it that floor. Just like in some cultures, that floor would be the ground floor and not the first floor. But she's talking about that map, so I'm guessing it's the floor below us. I kind of just want to look around, though. This place is, like, really interesting. Like, what, what is this room called? The surgery room. Delightful. At least it's well lit. Hmm. What are these things even used for? I, just, I know it's, like, a lot of dollies and stuff, but... Huh. Renee does not want to abandon her. Who's Renee? Am I Renee? Or am I Charlotte? I thought Charlotte was the doll, but I might be wrong. Uh oh. Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and I was amazed. I did not understand. At first, I was quite afraid. I feared that she wanted to hurt me. I was constantly expecting the moment when Mum would abandon her. Because I did not deserve to live. I did not deserve to be loved. Okay. It's cold. It's dark. Now she's cold. She'll get ill. We can take care of her. It's not forbidden. Charlotte is a good girl. So there's that phrase again. It is not forbidden. I wonder if that's going to have any significant meaning or if this name's just like translated. Ew. Alright, so it's a diagram of the human mouth. Except for, I don't know what this is. Is this nerves? Right here by the uh, top left teeth. And like the nasal passage. Oh, we can turn the page. Interesting. Surgica lingue, surgica libiorum. So that's Latin, so like surgeon, surgery of the tongue, surgery of the chin, I'm guessing. Huh. So that's like surgery to treat cleft palates, maybe, on the left. Either way, it's some messed up stuff. We got, what, what is this? Tintura di Cantiori and a hammer. I wish we could put the doll down and take out a hammer. Just walk around with that. Oh, these are all labeled differently. A strata fluid di Rendelli. I, I don't speak. I'm assuming that's Italian because of all the dillies and the dias and everything. But I'm probably wrong. It'd make more sense if it was French. So to identity. No, th this all sounds Italian. I'm probably failing geography super hard because I, I already forgot what city we're in. But I thought it was French at first. But it might be Italy. Planet C, Planet B, Planet A. Alright, well we have our doll, so that opens up some more exploration. Um, okay, whoa, what? Strange. Alright, well it's lighting up, I didn't click on these, but apparently not. 
Now, uh, I was told that this game doesn't have any jump stairs. Like, it's not going to be like you're walking along and then... Oh, I didn't turn my flashlight on. I forgot. Uh, what button was that again? Oh, my flashlight's not turning on. Should be F, right? F to turn off on the flashlight. So, yeah, my flashlight's not working. I'm just saying I can't use it because I'm holding the doll, which, you know, made sense. I saw a wheelchair on the ground floor. It's a convenient place, and we can get Charlotte into a warm place. Okay, so that's our new objective, I'm guessing. It wants me to go down to the ground floor. To. Not Charlotte. Alright, so Charlotte's the doll. Definitively. Uh, where were these stairs? Probably pass them Charlotte off. Yeah, I can't cold. go that way. Let's find her a warm place. Hmm. Oh, they're right here. All right. I'm not gonna take the elevator because, well, you know this place is pretty old. I don't wanna fall down or anything. So there's a wheelchair. I'm just she's talking about that one. This is a comfortable place for Charlotte. But it's cold. No, no. It's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. It'll all go away, Charlotte. Everything will go away. <laughs> okay, so I can push around this wheelchair. And now I'm in tank controls. I can't move side to side with the... Uh, now it's got a steer. Man, this is like really creepy because I can't really turn side to side too well. Maybe I'm supposed to go up this elevator, I'm guessing. Um, maybe I have to call it first and then wheel her in. Alright, so we can leave the wheelchair behind. So now we have to worry about wheelchair accessibility. Great. Oh, I have to open the door. Push the thing, please. Thank you. Alright, so if I know anything from wheelchair management, you're supposed to back end elevators, which is kind of hard to do. Wanna. But, screw it, I'll just go in front way. Because we can turn around 360 degrees in place, so it just doesn't matter. Get in there. Yeah, there we go. Dia Volterra. It does not work because of, oh, that closed the door. So we have to find a way to warm Charlotte up. Nope, not back out. Hmm, this artwork's quite beautiful, actually. Interesting. I'm gonna leave the wheelchair behind for right now, if I can. There we go. Alright. And, uh, we're looking for something warm. He'll get angry. He'll certainly get angry. Okay. So, no go on that way. Maybe these lights. I don't like that stinger music it's playing. Oh, I didn't see these earlier. It's the same stuff from that book earlier. Alright. 
it, so it might be those lights back there, but oh, there's these keys here, but we can't pick those up. And here's that book again. All right, I have a feeling those keys would be useful, but you know, I guess not. All right, let's finish looking around up here. We've been through here, right? Yeah, nothing warm in there. I'm playing on this bed, but nothing's happening. Maybe it's the bed. I'm more inclined to believe it's the bed than the lights, so I'll go there first. Ah, uh, this is hard. Come on, we can do it. Go through that doorway. I guess we can't go through the door with the wheelchair. You know, for a place of medical, uh, what's the word? For a big medical facility, this place isn't very uh, wheelchair friendly. So let's try the lights. The cold goes away, you see? The light, warmth, we can do it. The cold goes away. It's not forbidden. Now we can go to that ward where everything started. H to receive help. It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor. Okay, so that's a hint system. Well, uh, I think I'm going to go check out that ward on the next episode. So I'll see you then.